my family, I vividly remember this guy telling us on all these other commercials that he had put out not that long ago, telling us that we there's no money in real estate. And I think his name is Matt Cardone. I could be wrong on that, but I vividly remember him denouncing buying real estate and property. Now he on a commercial telling us, this is the same white man that sit up there and say, if you're a white person and you don't make it in a white society, you're you're like a scrub or something like that. This is what this white man was sitting up here saying. So I remember when he came on the commercial and then he said he a hypocrite family. That's hip that's a hypocrite family. All day long. You know what I'm saying? That's saying one I don't like people who sit up here and say one thing, but then they do another. Whatever you tell me the first time, you better stand on business, family. You better stand 10 toes down in your own shoes on what you said. I do not like people that sit up there and they be all like, oh, yeah, I wouldn't go here. And then next time I see you, you up over there, same person talk about, oh, I wouldn't mess with her. Now, the next time I see you, you with her. Uh, oh, I wouldn't eat that. Next time I see you, you eating on that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I wouldn't even go over there. I wouldn't mess with them people. Then next time I see you up over there messing with them people. I do not like hypocrites. I like a man and woman of they word. Whatever you say, you're going to stand on business. You're going to do that, family. Your yes will be a yes and your no will be a no. For anything in between that is giving way for the devil. We all know that, family. It's, it's just giving way for the devil because you're giving in way for lies. But this man should be ashamed of ourselves. He should be ashamed of himself because he came on the TV and then that man was sitting over there talking about, oh, there's no money in real estate. Oh, there's no money in buying properties. Oh, you buy, you buy, uh, what do you say? What do you say? You buy, um, you have, you have a hundred, you have a hundred, you have a hundred million dollars coming in from your real estate. That's no money. You're still broke. That's what he said, family. Unless I got him mixed and confused with another white person. But I don't think all white people look the same. I'm pretty sure it's him. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure I know what the hell I'm talking about. And this man sit up there and said, there is no money in real estate. There is no money in buying properties. Now he up on here saying, oh, come to my seminar. Let me help you buy some properties. Let me buy. Man, this dude is a hypocrite. I don't like people who sit up there and say one thing, but do another. <laughs> All I'm doing is hanging with my wife, shopping real estate, and I'll know when I see a deal. Certain number of units, certain amount of rent, certain amount of upside, how to get the loan done. Like, I simplified this game so easily. I started with three grand. My first $3,000 turned into six grand. At 100% return. I was like, oh my. I'm sorry. Turn right onto Galaxy Street. You're telling me where to go right now. But, uh, my first three grand, I made a hundred percent return in under a year, and I was like, I'm on my way. It wasn't a lot of money, but I knew, I knew I was on to something. Okay. My second deal, no money down. Check this out, no money down. Let's go to this little house right here. Somebody's gonna make a fortune on that little house right there. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Cedar Springs Road. Um, my second deal, I put no money down. I made thirty-two thousand dollars. My third deal, I put three hundred grand down. And made $5.2 million, but check this out. And I'll be sharing this with you. How I took one deal, I owned it for three years, I made $144 million non-taxable.